Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Worldwide Immigration News. We hope you all doing great. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about the new policy for visitor visa and super visa processing, announced by IRCC. To get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Without further delay, let's get into the topic. IRCC published the details of new temporary public policy on June 29, 2023, which has been speeding up the processing of visitor visa and super visa applications. Originally, this public policy came in effect with signature of Immigration Minister Sean Fraser on February 28, 2023, and is valid until December 31, 2023. As per the latest available data, IRCC has been managing around 2.25 million immigration and visa applications. Out of these, 1.3 million are temporary resident visa applications, which includes study permits, visitor visa, super visa, and work permits. New IRCC temporary policy is aimed at clearing the accumulating visitor visa and super visa inventory to increase Canada's appeal to visitors, families, and business people. As of now, this policy is only applicable to visitor visa or super visa applications submitted on or before January 16, 2023. Under this new policy, visa officer may not assess whether a foreign national will leave Canada by end of the period authorized for their stay, while processing an application for a visitor visa or super visa. This will save processing time by removing an extra task of assessing the above information and result in clearing of backlog at faster pace. It is important to note that this specific reason has long been one of the most used refusal reasons for visitor visas. Furthermore, this new policy only for visitor visas also allow visa officer an exemption to waive off requirement for a foreign national not to be inadmissible for financial reasons. This is also one of the common refusal reasons that visa officers uses to refuse visitor visa applications, stating an applicant does not have enough funds to support their stay in Canada. Facilitating the processing of existing applications in the inventory by reducing eligibility standards would prepare Canada for a fresh start and a return to pre-pandemic processing timelines, maintaining our worldwide competitiveness in the future. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episodes. Till then take care.